Hi, everybody. So you might be surprised to find out that we do most of our audio measurements here with free software and an audio interface. Um, so in the next few videos, I'm going to walk you through how we do that so that you can do really precise audio measurements of your analog gear at home. Uh, so all you need is this free program here, Room EQ Wizard or Roo, uh, an audio interface and a Mac or PC. So I'm going to assume you've downloaded this uh, and I'm going to assume you've got an audio interface. Let me show you how I've got mine set up here. So analog out four going into analog in four. This is just the same cable looping back. So nothing in the chain, just going to test the interface itself to start. So uh, let's first thing, let's open up preferences in Roo. And as you can see here, we've got a ton going on. Uh, this is a really deep program. And so I'm going to keep it really simple and just show you like just what you need to get started. So drivers set to ASIO, ASIO device would be whatever your interface is called, uh, Apogee for me. Sample rate, I've got it set to 44.1K uh, just because I'm also using a, a webcam and a, and a um, like broadcasting program and stuff. But in real life, you would want to set this as high as possible for the best uh, resolution for your measurements. Um, input and output, I've set to output four and input four, just like I showed you on the interface right here. Okay, secondary output, all this other stuff, just ignore it. Just don't worry about it. Uh, what we want to look at next is sweep level, which is uh, minus 12 dB full scale is what I have it set to. That's a pretty safe spot. So just for now, just set it to minus 12 dB full scale if it's not already. And then we're going to calibrate the sound card and that'll be it for today. Um, so sound card calibration, go to calibrate sound card. This is going to tell you that it's going to basically like loop back some audio. So push next. And this is saying, okay, the next thing we're going to do is send a 1K tone to make sure you're getting the right level back. So push next to do that. And look at that. Wow. Minus 12 going out and minus 11.7 coming back in from my interface. So basically the same. That's what we want to see. If you're not within, you know, a couple dB, probably you have uh, levels set somewhere, either in the software for your interface or on the interface itself. So just make sure you've got everything set to your standard plus four dBU line out and line in with no extra gain, no attenuation anywhere. Uh, and you should get, you know, basically the same thing like this. So pushing next again, and it's saying, okay, we're now ready to do a sweep to see what this interface can do. So it's now going to make a measurement. And this is the, the screen that you will see in the future when you make sweeps. And there we go. So this is our first sweep uh, on the left is all the data about the measurement, the channels we used. Um, this is awesome for documentation so that you can go back and see exactly what you did when. Uh, and this is called sound card. And you can see the sweep here. It's uh, I'm going to go over to the all SPL tab where we can just zoom in on the frequency response. Um, and I'm going to set it. There's this button down here, 20 to 20. So 20 hertz to 20k and you can see it's you know it's not perfectly flat but it's pretty darn close and that's what you would expect from an audio interface you should be seeing close to flat um, and same thing if we click over to distortion here uh, this top line is the fundamental meaning the uh, whatever tone was going through at that moment and then the rest of these here are different harmonics and with your interface, they should be way down there like mine are at minus 100 to minus 120 dB, lower than the fundamental. Um, and then you can see uh, this program is so great. There's even down here at the very bottom THD, uh, which is your total harmonic distortion. Um, so if you ever wondered what's the THD of your interface, now you know. I, I can never read engineering numbers like this, but it's some... Um, very small number. Um, okay, so before we wrap up, last thing is to go back to preferences. 
and you should see up here the sound card calibration and go make cal file uh, and I like to make a note of kind of which channels I used here so line in out four I'm gonna push OK and then save this as Apogee Quartet okay saved that and then we're all good here we can close out so in the future now the program will be calibrated for your interface so all this distortion here these tiny little uh, irregularities in the frequency response will be accounted for so if you measure something else you won't be having that reflected in the measurement as well so uh, now you're all set up ready to go let's go on to the next video where I will show you how to get started doing some uh, some measurements of the frequency response